Hi folks, I've seen a lot of um, videos on YouTube that are showing people's bug out bags and uh, I just want to offer a different sort of alternative because a lot of people are believing that you know when you bug out it's going to have to be really really quick and um, I'm not so sure that's the case I think you should have more than one prepared based on whether you can actually load the car up with stuff or whether you really do just have to bug out fast so in that respect I want to show you my bug out bags because I've got more than one um, and in an absolute emergency this is the one that I'll be taking with me and um, then I'll show you the others and the priority that I've given them and see what you think so I just start off that's my uh, rucksack over there it's a 45 pound rucksack and that can carry absolutely everything that you see here um, I just want to go through them and uh, see what you think so we are going to start off over here we have a wind up lamp um, it's actually pretty awesome because you only have to charge it for about five minutes and that will give you at least an hour's worth of light um, it's got various settings on it for the intensity so um, it is really 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 bright um, so I'm very very happy with that one um, as you can see I've got a pretty extensive first aid kit there um, the reason is um, you've got to survive and if anything happens um, you need to be able to sort yourself out so in my first aid bag um, I have got a load of plasters of various sorts waterproof, non-waterproof, everything else I've got healing gel, Vaseline, antibacterial wipes I've got some very strong painkillers, including not on the shelf. Um, I've got tape, anti-diarrhea tablets, bandages, gloves, ice pack, burn spray, free spray. Um, pretty much everything I need to hopefully keep me going. Um, here I've got a reflective cover to try and keep me warm and to keep me off the floor. Um, down here I've got some freezer bags. Um, they're, they're just amazing things to have. Um, not because they can freeze but because you can carry stuff, you can carry water, you can do a lot of stuff with them so I think they're pretty much a must. Uh, next to it I've got a shovel, uh, if you want to build a fire um, I tend to try and dig them under, try and sort of dig a bit underground. Also if you need to build a loo or something like that you just want something that will enable you to get the mud out. Um, I've got a cutlery set, I was going to go for a spork but um, I don't know, I really like, really, really like to be able to have a knife and fork, that's just me. Um, next to that, I've got a knife sharpener, um, pretty much a must. And I've also there got my two containers to cook food in. Um, i just come down here a little bit. I have got some seeds. Um, the only reason I've got them now, and I've got them in this kit, is because I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, and I wanted to get them now because if the shit hit the fan did happen then obviously I want to stuff like that is going to sell out really really fast so I've just been trying to stockpile on them I've always got a fire lighter, I've got an axe and I've got a saw there next to that I have another hand saw and inside here I've got lots of matches and lighters um, I don't know, fire lighting I'm not too bad but uh, it is quite nice to be able to just do that. Toothbrush, toothpaste, you have any kind of teeth problems, you're in just a world of pain and there's not much you can do about it. So um, looking after my teeth is pretty much essential. Down here I've got a pretty big candle. Inside that box there I've also got lots of little candles. And inside here I have a survival kit uh, that just contains a whole ton of stuff and um, so yeah so the stuff that this contains is you've got a snap knife, fire starter, another one um, combat wire saw, another one um, again because I don't know how long I'm going to be out there for um, that's just in there uh, I've got a sewing kit, candle, compass, fishing kit matches, whistle, water purification tablet, signalling mirror, pencil, safety pins, snare wire, cotton wool um, that's a lot of stuff in one box so that's a pretty much a must there 
Uh, I've got my water bottle and I've got a drinking cup there. Paracord. This is an interesting one because a lot of people carry a small amount. Um, but I really think that for that you just can't scrimp or save. You've got to get the most amount you can possibly carry because the stuff is just too damn useful. Um, I've got a poncho there. Uh, Leatherman. Absolutely couldn't live without that. I've got three excellent books. These things are so tiny as you can see. All three of them. Um, so that's really good reading and good as a reference point. Um, this is an interesting one, this one here, because I've not seen this anywhere else. Um, what that is, is a lockpick set. Um, and I got this, if you're in the UK, I got that from devonlocks.com. They do loads of different sizes, but the C801, which is that one there, uh, you got nine lockpicks in there, or seven lockpicks, two tension tools. Um, you never know in a real dire situation if you need to get inside somewhere warm that's going to be a pretty good way of getting in there um, so I have also got my knives and defensive stuff over here um, I've got survival, killing, skinning, gutting, cooking all there um, because we're in the UK we haven't got the luxury of guns um, so I've got a slingshot there and I've got some spare ammo Food wise, I've got to keep it light, got to keep it sort of pretty self contained. So I've just got one tin of tuna, that's enough rice there to last me quite a while. Um, Snickers, peanut butter, uh, just give me the high energy boost. Over here I've got a sleeping bag, then I've got a two man tent, and I've also got an inflatable floor mat there. Um, so that's the initial one that all goes inside my rucksack um, it's all fa fairly light, I mean I'm only 145 pounds and um, I can run with that 20 minutes, half an hour, not really much of a problem but this will hopefully cover most situations as you probably noticed at the beginning is I do also have bow and arrows there um, I will probably, if I can take it, take that with me because that just gives me a bit of added security. So bug out bag number one is this lot here. Okay, just to prove you that that all went in there. There we go, 45 pound bag. That is well secure, everything should be waterproof. Uh, the only thing that I attach to it is the sleeping bag, the tent and the mat. And um, there we go. So that's uh, bug out bag number one. Now we go on to bug out bag number two. Okay, so bug out bag number two. This is if I know that um, I can start loading up the car, but I may have to leave my car at some point, but I'll be closer to home or closer to where I want to be. Then uh, this is uh, bug out bag number two. And as I say, these are definitely much more nice haves, nice to haves rather than essentials. Um, so I've got some baby powder, sun tan lotion, a bit more food, got some shaving, um, insect repellent. Um, teeth are really, really important to me, so I've doubled up on that, I've doubled up on the candles. A uh, little bit of taste of home, some tea, as you can tell, I'm a Brit. Uh, I've got some bars of soap, much bigger bag of rice. Uh, to go with the rice I've also got some beans and if there is anything I catch I've also got some chilli powder over there uh, back to the lot picking set I've now got a much bigger set there and um, I've also got this one here which opens tubular locks inside there these are really really easy to open um, so I've got those as well I've got a screwdriver that's got multi head and I've got some gloves over there, more candles, this time I've got some cooking oil, spare bottle. Uh, these lighters here are absolutely amazing. Um, you keep them in the bag and these things just, these bad boys just burn for ages. Really, really good. So I guarantee you when you want to start a fire, it's in the conditions that normally make it impossible to start a fighter, uh, start a fire. 
So this one will give you a real head start. In the initial bag I had some water purifiers. Um, there's only a few so it's not going to last very long. So that's when a very big bottle of thin bleach will come in handy just to sterilise the water. Uh, totally right, I just can't live without that. When this, uh, if or when this does happen, oh my god, I'm going to miss them so badly. Um, so I've also got a bit more food. Um, you didn't see my initial one, but these will be my out and about hiking boots. Um, Burgers Extreme, they are absolutely awesome. And because these are now an extra bag, I've also got another pair, I've got a pair of trainers to go with me. So this here makes out bug out bag number two. Not as essential as the first ones, but definitely stuff that I'd really want to take if I could. I have one more thing. Uh, you've seen the sling bow, uh, slingshot, you've seen the bow and arrow. Um, also, with this set, I'll be taking a crossbow as well. That'll be going in the car uh, for hunting survival. Um, so yeah, so this is bug out bag number two. Bug out bag number three is coming up now. Bug out bag number three, um, because we're in the UK, uh, the winters here can be very, very cold. Last year we had snow pretty much for about three months um, so most of the stuff in here is clothes um, I do quite a lot of running and if you can get running gear um, running bottoms, running tops they really really insulate well and um, the, wall, the sweat comes through them and it will keep you warmer for a lot longer so definitely invest in um, this kind of material it is um, really really good as you can see there's quite a gap there that's mainly because inside there I'll be filling up uh, with more food more ammo um, stuff like that so this one is mainly keeping me warm and just having extra stuff in there that just makes life that little bit easier so you see my three bug out bags so to speak they're all done in priority order so if I just have to get out of Dodge fast I just take the one I'll leave everything else if I can drive then I'll take number two and three if I can't get to my destination then everything's there for me to decide whether I just take one two or three um, so they are my bug out bags and my bug out options. Very different to everything else I've seen online. Everyone's just focusing on one. Personally, I think you should focus on more on one because you just don't know what the situation is going to be when it hits. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed my video.